Sarah from Average Betty here and I'm making crock pot pizza. I read online that you can make pizza in a crock pot. And if that doesn't pique your culinary curiosity, stay out of the kitchen. Let's make crock pot pizza. And let's be real for a minute. Who knows if this whole pizza in a slow cooker thing will work. Whoa, poppin' fresh. I'm not experimenting with my homemade dough. And chances are, if we're being real, if you're interested in making pizza in a slow cooker, you're probably not making homemade pizza dough. Because if you were, you'd want to make it in a real oven or on a grill. But I digress, because you see, I got the poppin' fresh. And it needs a little TLC. You got a boo-boo. There, all better. I like a little cornmeal on the bottom of my crust. Roll it out, and I'll probably need to trim this up a little to fit in my crock pot. So I creep. Yeah! And here it is. A little oil. Here's a sling I've made out of parchment paper so I can lift it out more easily when it's done. A little more cornmeal. And here's the dough. It's going to need a little finesse here. A nip and a tuck. I'm going for a thinner crust, but I know the effect here is supposed to be more like a deep dish. I just want it to be crispy. All right, that looks about good. Whoa there, Jackson. Spread the sauce around. Use as much as you like. This is a good activity for kids, and you know, kids love anything if you call it pizza. Some cheese. Cheesy! And I'm going classic pepperoni because I really want this to look like a pizza in a crock pot but put whatever toppings you like on your crock pot pizza. Just a few shreds more and the lid. I read about people putting towels under the lid of their slow cooker to absorb moisture, but that just seems like a fire hazard to me. I'm going to keep an eye out for moisture. So it's been about an hour and there's definitely some moisture buildup, but it's starting to look pretty legit. Not quite done yet. Okay, so I wiped the moisture from the lid. It's been about a half an hour more, and I think this is done. Many of the recipes I saw said two or two and a half hours, and for my slow cooker, that would be way too long. I'm gonna use my handy slings to lift it out of the crock pot and onto the cutting board. Carefully rip off the paper, slice it up. Pretty crunchy, holy moly. The question is not, can you make pizza in a slow cooker? The question is, should you? A little Parmesan cheese from a really big grater. Hmm, that's pizza. Get the crock pot pizza recipe at averagebetty.com. So next time you really want pizza and you only have access to a slow cooker, I hope you'll give this crock pot pizza a try. Thanks for watching and subscribing. See you next time. Mmm, quite good pizza.